Welcome to Embryo. This video will quickly go over the main elements of the interface. Subsequent videos will go into more detail on the different parts. The biggest area in the interface is the node screen editor. This is where you will do most of your work connecting nodes into agents. Interaction is fairly straightforward. Add nodes to the screen by either right-clicking and selecting from the menu, or dragging from the node toolbar. To add a link to another file in a program, drag the file from the project tree onto a node screen. Configure nodes by clicking on the buttons, and connect nodes by clicking and dragging an output to an input of the same color. Edit a node by clicking the expand button. On the left of the screen are the project tree and the node toolbar. The project tree shows all of the files in a project organized into folders. Create new files by right-clicking on a folder or using the file menu. The root node is the project node. Below that are controller nodes. A project can be made up of multiple controllers. A controller is a program with a particular hardware target. For example, this project has a controller that runs on an Arduino and another that runs on a PC with a user interface. The node toolbar has several tabs filled with the built-in nodes. The first tab is the I.O. toolbar with input and output nodes. The nodes here depend on the type of controller you are editing. In an Arduino project, this tab will have nodes to read and write values to physical pins. The second tab has nodes that have to do with processing activation values. The third tab has flow control nodes. These are used for logic and control flow. The fourth tab has nodes that do math on numeric values. The text tab has nodes that deal with text. The tab with the embryo icon is a place to put your own nodes that are saved with the project you are editing. You can also add your own nodes to other tabs. Nodes added to other tabs will be available to all of your projects. For PC projects, there is a tab with image processing nodes. There is a webcam capture node as well as nodes for simple image manipulation. The library tab has a hierarchy of custom nodes maintained on the web server. Below the node toolbar is the connection bar. This is used for connecting to an Arduino for a design time connection, as well as uploading a final program. Below the node screen editor is an expandable and lockable tab control with other useful forms. You can open and close the toolbar by clicking on the arrow buttons, or lock it open by clicking on the lock icon. The first tab is Embryo's message log. This view shows errors, informational messages, and optional debugging messages. You can click on the checkboxes on the right to filter which message types to show. The next tab shows compile errors. These error messages can come from several places. There are validation errors which might show before a node is compiled. When nodes are compiled as C-sharp code to run in the UI, there could be compile time errors from the C-sharp compiler. Finally, when an Arduino program is compiled and uploaded, there could be Arduino errors returned. You can double-click on an error line to jump to the node and code line where the error appears. Nodes also show their errors under their code editors. For embedded projects, the Profiler toolbar gives you information about timing. All nodes are tested on your target hardware and laid out on a program timeline. This control shows you how much of the available time resource is being used by your project. The Memory Playback tab lets you pause the live connection while you are working and play back through the recent memory to help debug your program. To stop live recording, press the Toggle Playback button or press the S key. When playback mode is on, the node screen editor's background becomes red. You can play back or scrub through the recent memory with the toolbar, just like you would a video playback. The dropdown lets you choose a time range to record. The default is 10 seconds. The Search tab lets you search for any part of a project. The checkboxes next to the search input are filters for what items to be shown. The first selection are project items like agents and reusable node groups. The second are node definitions. The third are library items. The fourth are embryo application forms. Simply type anything into the search input and results update as you type. The results show what type of item has been found and includes extra info depending on the item type. For example, a node definition shows how many instances of that node are in the project as well as a list of locations the node is used. Double-clicking on this list brings up that instance of the node. You can also drag an item from the search results onto a node screen, giving another easy way to add nodes and project item links. 